Fox 26 is joined with the Defender Network, delivering news and information to the area's black community. Here now is Defender Network reporter Laura Onyeneho. Thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate you coming in. Oh, thank you for having me. Well, up first, a local fellow for justice is making an impact at Strayer University with her nonprofit. Trelise Baker is her name. What is she doing? Yeah, so Trelise Baker is the CEO of Second Chance Living Purpose, Motivate, and Inspire. Long, but it's powerful. So what she does does with her organization is she helps formerly incarcerated women uh, transition out of prisons and jails and into and, and into society. So she helps them with the workforce, finding them jobs, and she also helps them uh, with finding homes. And so the most important part about this is that um, she's very um, inspired to change the um, criminal justice system. And she was also in the criminal justice system herself. She was in juvenile uh, jail, and she was in there through her teens all the way up to her uh, early 20s. And so she saw when she came out of the um, when she came out of jail, she realized that there wasn't a lot of programs for women uh, re-entering back into society. So this is the main reason why she decided to uh, start the organization. And so Stray University is a scholarship. Uh, so she's currently in school, making sure that she's training to make sure she can. Continue to elevate uh, her uh, organization. Yeah, recidivism is so important um, when getting out. Um, also, another woman that we're talking about today, Dina Piero, has created iUrban, which is a STEM and arts education program uh, for underrepresented teens. So, what, what is that? Yeah, so iUrban Teen, uh, the most important fact about this is uh, black people are still underrepresented in the STEM workforce. Uh, there's a Pew study that says that black people, um, there's 9% of black people people in the STEM workforce compared to 67% uh, white people. So that's a big margin and that's the reason why uh, Dina Perot was so passionate about starting um, iUrban Teen. And so the, uh, this is an educational program to help bring underrepresented youth uh, to introduce them to the world of STEM and get them started very early. So she comes up with a lot of interactive uh, programmings that parents and families can uh, be involved in. And so, and she's also, she's based in Dallas, but she's expanded her programs to Houston. So this is something that I think parents would definitely check out. Laura, you also dug into how millennials are talking. No cap. <laughs> it can be a little bit confusing if you're not up to date. Explain. Yeah, that's right. So uh, we are always listening to what parents are talking about online, um, especially boomers. Uh, Gen X, uh, we hear you and we understand that uh, talking to young people in this day and age gets pretty confusing. It's very hard uh, understanding what the lingo is, especially mm -hmm. when you're on the internet. So we decided to help you all, <laughs> and you're welcome. Yes, so um, cap means lie. So when yeah. you say no cap, that means no lie. Right, I'm so trying to tell the truth. Exactly. So yes. I said no cap, I meant like no lie. It can be confusing. Yeah. So it's a lot to keep up with for sure, but it's kind of fun once you catch on. Yes, right. Well, Laura, thank you so much. Much, and we do have links to each one of these stories at fox26houston.com.